हे मेकर्स दिस इज द्रोवीन एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू पावर वी आई डेक्स बिगिनर सीरीज इन दिस सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट मैक्स एंड मीन फंक्शन इन डिटेल मैक्स एंड मीन फंक्शन हैज सो मैनी वेरिएशन लाइक मैक्स ए मैक्स एक्स मीन ए एंड मीन एक्स वी विल चेक अबाउट ईच वेरिएशन इन डिटेल विद द रियल लाइफ एग्जाम्पल वन मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट अनाउंसमेंट इफ यू हैवन फॉलोड मी ऑन इंस्टाग्राम सो फार डू फॉलो मी ऑन इंस्टाग्राम यूजिंग द इंस्टाग्राम आई डी पावर प्लेटफॉर्म गाय द प्रैक्टिस फाइल फॉर दिस एपिसोड इज अवेलेबल टू माई गीट हब रिपोजिटरी यू कैन डाउनलोड इट एंड प्रैक्टिस ओवर दैर द लिंक इज डाउन बिलो इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड एंड एक्सप्लोर मीन एंड मैक्स फंक्शन इन डिटेल विथ मी here i am on my machine and here i have loaded the data of one global superstore now here i have different columns like country category sales amount profit shipping cost and much more now let me explain you the max function max function basically returns the maximum value from your data now let's say for an example i need maximum sales value for that i need to create one measure so let's see the syntax and the measure so here i created a measure maximum sales and for that we will use max command in max basically we need to provide the column name so let's provide our sales column now it also accept the second parameter scalar 2 now we will see that later but let's just hit enter now let me just add that column into this particular table where i need country wise maximum value so now i am just dragging the column that we just created and over here you can see that i am getting the maximum value by each country now let's validate the value so i am validating i am just applying sort over here and second sort i am going to apply on this sales value and we will check the maximum over here so let's say for afghanistan maximum is 4626 right and same way if we go with the another country alabina it is 1619 right so it is giving us the exact correct value same way if you just wanted to have the minimum sales you just need to use mean function mean is obviously opposite from the max so just try it by your own and just use the similar dex expression with the mean and you will get the minimum value over here now let's move towards the second dex expression that is max x and mean x max x and mean x both function are the iterator function what is iterator function i already explained in couple of my earlier dex video of sum x and count x now let me just cover up those scenarios again over here let's see with the real life use case so let's say for an example i just wanted to find out the maximum sales value for us country then how can i find it for that i need to use max x function so i just created a measure max x usa and let's just use max x function and inside that first of all we need to provide a table we need to find out the country usa's maximum sales amount so we will use the filter function inside that and just provide our table global superstore country is equal to united states and from this country we need maximum sales value so let's just provide that sales and let's just hit enter let me just drag my column over here and here there are different categories and from those categories what would be the maximum value for usa it is showing me over here now let's validate this value so let me just filter by us over here so over here you can see for furniture maximum sales amount is 4416 and i'm getting exactly that thing over here and same way for other category as well i will find the exact same value over there similar way you need to try the mean x function you need to use mean x over here and that will give you the minimum value by category for usa country 
right so try it by your own now let's move towards the next use case where this maxx iterator function is used to iterate calculation row by row now in my case i have profit and shipping cost column now i need to find out the maximum value which is the summation of profit plus shipping cost so over that time as well this maxx function will help you a lot this iterator function will calculate the calculation row by row and store it into temporary storage and at the end it will give you the end outcome now let's see how so here i am using a dex expression max x inside that let's just pass our table so table is global superstore so let's pass that now we need to provide the expression the expression would be profit column plus shipping cost profit plus shipping cost right let's just hit enter so over here if you need to pass any filter data set you can pass that as well and here you need to provide your expression right so this is the flexibility which is provided by it now let me just uh, check this outcome so let me just clear this filters and now let me just track that value over here provide a measure that we just created max x as iterator function and it is giving us the value over here so whatever the maximum value for summation of profit and shipping cost that will be available over here and everything is performed row by row so this beauty of iterator function is that you don't need to create a separate column for that it can be handled into temporary storage and provide the end outcome using that temporary column as a output so hope it's clear for you now so for mean x you can apply the similar scenario in opposite manner so just try it by your own now before we proceed further let's discuss about max and mean function as a scalar function so here i have created two dex column for calculating the max value for south africa and south korea so it is giving us the maximum sales value for both of this country now i just wanted to compare this value with each other then i need to explore that max expressions second parameter so let's see how so max compare let's create another dex expression now over here let's just use max inside that just provide a dex expression max south africa and max south korea that we just created right and basically this is something which will compare both of these things over here and now let's just drag that column inside our table and see the end outcome and here we are from this two columns the maximum value is 2605 so it is returning me that one from this two it is maximum as 2784 so it is returning this and same way for here as well so hope now you get a clear idea about the second parameter that is used in the max function similar way you need to try it out for mean comparison so just try it by your own and check the result now let's move towards the last dex expression which is mean a and max a now these are the very less used dex expression i personally don't feel any real life use cases for this two dex expression but let me just tell you some hint over here mean a and max a both function are something which give you the exact same result as max and mean function the only difference is that it is supporting the boolean data type and some mixed data type so similar thing that we have seen in our earlier sessions like count a and average a same thing is applicable over here let's say in in at this moment in my data set i do not have any boolean value but let's say if i have some boolean value and i wanted to apply my dex expression mean and max i can't use regular mean and max function because it will give you an error because mean and max function are only applicable into string date time and numeric value it is not supporting boolean but if you wanted to support that you simply need to use max a and mean a function so that is the only use case i found over here but if you know some another use case for this two dex expression feel free to add your suggestion in the comment section 
If you have any question so far, feel free to add your question in the comment section and don't forget to visit my entire deck series. If you are for the first time, hit the subscribe button and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel. If you are looking for Hindi content that is a dedicated channel, subscribe that channel as well. If you are looking for training or consultancy, here is the website. And don't forget to follow me on my Twitter, Instagram and podcast platform. From there, you will always find the latest update on my channel. With this, this is Thruveen signing off. See you in the next session with some amazing content. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.